All right, guys, what's up? So as you can see here, front wheels are off of the Mustang because I love the way these wheels look. Uh, I bought them used from a guy about five or six years ago before the car went down. And um, one of them actually is brand new. It's kind of interesting. I was driving to work one day and I ran over like a six inch long bolt and somehow it went through the tire it was not like a screw i mean we're talking like a three-quarter inch bolt and it jackhammered a hole right in the side of the wheel um this might be the new one it looks a little bit cleaner than the rest even though they're all pretty filthy so anyway took the um took this one off uh, eventually gonna need to do something with these these rotors and brakes clean those up a little bit but Anyway, uh, as you can see here on the downpipe of the turbo, the tire is rubbing uh, when I turn to the right. It doesn't rub when the tire's straight. It's only that little bit of rub when I turn. And the tires that I have on it now are 245 55s, I think. And my good friend, Michael Johnson, uh, you may or may not know him if you've been in the Mustang world a little while. He's a, a journalism for automotive magazines and websites for a long time now he suggested i go with a two two sixty five thirty five to give it a little bit shorter sidewall to make it more proportionate with the rear and well the extra the extra 10 millimeters on the front is not going to work so we're not going to go with that i don't know what we're going to do but for now <clears throat> um i'm gonna paint these wheels bronze i think the bronze on the black is gonna look really good so i got this one out in the yard we're getting ready to clean it we'll get into that and then we'll get the paint and get that put on there and see what's gonna happen so let's go guys it's gonna be a fun project all right so as you guys can see i've got the car candy chocolate thunder non-acidic wheel cleaner soaking here i'm gonna grab the pressure washer spray another coat of that on here i'm actually going to scrub it with a brush i'm going to clean the barrels because they are the same color as the faces so i'm going to paint those too so the whole wheel is bronze um, unfortunately i'm not going to remove the weights because i don't want to have them balanced again so i don't know what we're going to do there uh i might remove the weights we'll see i don't know all this stuff costs money and well i don't have a lot of subscribers yet so youtube's not paying for this but I see a lot of you guys watch this stuff, but don't subscribe. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so that you know when we put out new episodes on projects like these. And help a brother out, man. So anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's get into this and see how it turns out. All right, guys, as you can see, the Chocolate Thunder does an amazing job um, cleaning these wheels up. Uh, they're they're pretty nice when, even in the silver so these are real bbs center caps however these are late model restorations sv drift wheels in an 18 by 9 configuration it's a square setup on the car so all four wheels are 18 by 9 it's another thing that kind of bugs me i wish the rear were 18 by 10 but it is what it is like i said i bought these used off a guy he was the one that damaged all of these lug nut holes using obviously the wrong size socket to get them off the car but they're not curb rashed or anything there's a saw it while I was cleaning there's a little nick in the paint right there paints worn off right there just kind of worn off in a couple spots that silver metallic that these come in uh, again these wheels sat on the car for five years while the car didn't run so which also brings me to my next point. I don't understand how barrels get so dirty. Maybe under a tree was not the best place to do this. <laughs> I don't understand how barrels get so dirty just from sitting. But the back of the wheels are filthy. We're going to clean those too because like I said, I'm going to paint all this. Uh, but even there, you can see the Chocolate Thunder just ran down the barrel and took it right out. So we'll see what happens. Like I said gonna get these cleaned up probably I'm not gonna hand sand these I have a nylon 
brush that you attach to an air tool that I'll probably hit these with. It's not supposed to take metal off. It's like a wire brush, but it's nylon instead of metal. So probably hit those with one of those. Hit these with one of those. And uh, go from there and see what we can do about bronze. Bronzifying these wheels. I'm really excited about this. So getting back to it. All right, guys, so I had to move the camera setup because I thought under the tree would be good being in the shade. I wouldn't get so hot. I mean, it's Florida. The rest of the country's freezing, but it is not freezing here. I think today the high is like 81 or something. So it's still hot here. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, cleaning the backs out of the wheels and I used a different product for the back. I used uh, LA's Totally Finest. I find it at Dollar Tree. It's a dollar a dollar for a 32 ounce bottle straight degreaser uh, I sprayed the straight degreaser on the back of the wheel there's instructions for diluting it but I figured these were so dirty might as well spray it straight on there so let's see if there's a difference in results here as you can see the barrel I mean these are coming pretty clean I don't know if this is damage to the seems like that's road tar which is crazy how thick it is road glue or something but hopefully you guys can see this it's just this degreaser is pretty strong stuff and it's just wiping the grease right off of the back of these spokes and everything so hit it with the pressure washer here in a second I'm actually gonna hit this spot right here I'm gonna let that soak for a minute it's coming there's less there now than there was there's also some looks like rock chips in the paint here and back here like something got caught in the wheel and rode around the wheel a little bit and just damaged the paint on the inside so anyway that's where we're at all right guys so as you can see after getting the wheel cleaned up i got it prepped i uh i own a giant roll of plastic wrap I use it to wrap the LS for the Miata because I'm not working on that project right now, so, so it doesn't rust. Ordered that on Amazon, it was like 15 bucks, so whatever. Wrapped up the tire in the plastic wrap. And then I don't have any 3x5 note cards, taking it back old school for wheel painting with the tire still on. But uh, I don't have any 3x5 note cards, but my wife is one of those crafty types and she had this card stock. So I got some of that card stock, cut it up, put it in the wheel, deflated the tire. So it'll go down in between the bead, kind of, and the tire and the rim. And we're going to get to painting this thing. I figured, I was talking to Rodney, and Rodney said, Rodney looked at me and said, bronze is just gold, bro. And I said, well, I don't think so, but every wheel on the market that's on a black car that's bronze does kind of look gold. So I figured, what the heck? So, I got VHT wheel paint in gold. Uh, it doesn't say the color on it. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm excited about the color. I think it's going to look good. I also bought their clear coat. So, we'll see. Uh says wait about 10 minutes in between coats so we're gonna get the first light coat a couple light coats on and then go from there now the reason I decided to do it this way is just to test out this one wheel see if I like the color see how it looks on the car and then go from there if it turns out like wow amazing I'll go ahead and do the other three wheels this way probably gonna rock one gold wheel for a week or two just to see how I like it and then from there, I can decide whether I want to get them powder coated or professionally painted. Either way, they have to be stripped in the first place. So if they have to be stripped, I might as well try it myself and go from there. So let's get into it and see how these things look after we get some paint on them. So, as you guys saw previously in the video, 
I filmed painting this wheel back in February sometime. It turned out I'm pretty happy with it. I like the color. And I'm pretty sure I'm either going to order some new bronze colored wheels for this car. Bronze, gold, whatever you want to call it. Or uh, take these wheels off and have them stripped and powder coated so that they're perfect. If we get in real close here, we can see, hopefully you can see this, some of the damage from the previous owner came through on the paint because again, like I told you guys, I wasn't going to completely sand and refinish and do all that just to see if I liked it or not. Uh, I went with this gold center cap I got off Amazon. Actually, no, I take that back. They did not come gold. These center caps came silver with a black ring. I painted the silver part the same with the same paint as I painted the wheels with to match and left the ring black. I think that looks good personally. Uh, gives a little nice offset in the middle. I also, in the meantime, painted the rear wheel the same color uh, with the clear coat and everything. And while I was at it, it's extremely hard to see. Let's see if I can get the right lighting here. But I painted the caliper black to match the car. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do red or black or... I kind of like the idea of orange and black theme, but then that reminds me of Halloween, and I'm not really a fan of that either, so I figured black to match the car would look good, and I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. In the sun, these wheels pop really good. I'll put, I'll put a couple pictures up here in a minute to show what the, what the wheels look like in the sun. I would have done the video in the sun, but the car isn't running right now. There's no spark plugs in it believed to be down a fuel pump since it has dual fuel pumps so got to work with the tuner on that a little bit but this is where the car sits um with the gold on the black again i think it looks really good i'm really happy with it so i think once i get this caliper painted black and in the sun it'll look a lot better uh, then, you know, in the shade and here in the garage with dust and whatnot caked all over it. So, but that's it, guys. If you like these, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you like the way, if you think the caliper would look better, maybe red or black, leave that comment. Let me know. And that's it for this one. Next time you guys see this car, it is definitely going to be at least running again. Uh, hopefully the next video it will be either on the dyno or at least doing some pulls of some sort. We're very close to getting this done. Finally started making money with my hauling business so I can put some money into this. And hopefully get it out and get some action shots of it. I'm tired of seeing it sitting in my garage going to waste. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video if you want to see more content like this. And we'll catch you on the next one. As always, remember to eat. Pray wrench. Love you guys.